to join us here on stage six. How are you doing, ladies? Yeah. Just random noise. They're so happy to be here. We've got two guys over there that have been on blind dates with those three women right there. We put them together. Let's see what happens, shall we? By meeting the ladies. Uh, right next to me is Phyllis Taylor. She's a 24-year-old aerobics instructor. Yeah. Give her a big hand. Yeah. 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 Next to her is Suzette Nichols, a 23-year-old court reporting student. Welcome, Suzette. Yeah. Yeah. And way down at the end of the couch is Melanie White, the 25-year-old makeup artist. Yeah. 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 Melanie, you're 25. How many dates have you been on in your life? About a couple hundred. Couple hundred, okay. Yeah, I, do you know what you're looking for? Do you, do you have the perfect Mr. Melanie in mind? <laughs> they have to have um, an outgoing personality. They have to be well groomed, and they have to have nice teeth. A classy looking dude. Exactly. Okay. All right. That's fair enough. How about you, Suzette? I'm looking for someone who's um, really good looking. Someone who's kind of kind of bad. Kind of. I don't like wimpy guys. I like kind of gangsterish guys. Why is that? Yeah. <laughs> No, like if we go somewhere and someone were to try to attack either one of us, I wouldn't want him to go, what's going on? I would rather him go, what's up? You know, like, be ready. In case Just pull out a gun and kill to... a guy right on the spot. Boom, done. <laughs> How about you, Phyllis? <laughs> what kind of guy are you looking for? OK, I'm looking for someone that's six feet tall. I want him to be very tall. I want him very athletic uh -huh. and well built. Sure. And a good heart rate for the aerobics thing. That's Shit. Right. All right, well, let's see how our two studs stack up tonight. Let's meet Ian and Mark. Yeah. Yeah. Good to see you. Mark, good to see you. All right. Welcome to the show, guys. Right next to me is 29-year-old Ian Green. He's an executive recruiter. Give him a big hand. Yeah. It's great in the night to come out here. And at the end of the couch is Mark Anthony, a 25-year-old gang counselor. Welcome, yeah. Mark Anthony. You guys know how this works. The guy with the most hearts gets to go on a date that we pay for at the end of the show. Cool. All right, we'll start with you, Ian. Um, do you make a good impression when you talk to somebody on the phone? Yeah, I think I do. I make a, I've been doing executive recruiting for about seven years. So. Uh huh. All right, well, we asked the ladies what they thought of you over the phone when they talked to you, what their first initial make of you was, and uh, here's what they said. One lady said, this guy's a dream I never want to wake up from. Oh. <laughs> Second lady said, this man is positively perfect. Yeah! And the third lady said, break out the buns. I'm dating the world's biggest wiener. <laughs> I'd, say, I'd say break out the buns. I'm dating the world's biggest wiener would have to be Suzanne. Suzette? There you go. <laughs> huh? So you talked to him on the phone. Why did you think he was a wiener? Because he had like this um, Ur kind of voice. Everything he said is like What Ur. kind of voice? Like Urkel. That's how he sounded to me. Kind of like on the He didn't have like a, like a masculine, you know, a gangster type voice. He didn't have that kind of voice. And he just kind of sounded uh -huh. like a wiener. Right. But he was nice. He was a nice voice, but it was just a wiener. So he had kind of like a high pitched, tinny, whiny kind of voice. <laughs> <laughs> like if he said, he would say the word instead of wiener, he would say wiener. Let's hear you say the word wiener. <laughs> that was bad? Yeah, it just sounded like a, uh, I don't I know. Probably, just I, I just probably spoke too proper for her. Actually. You didn't cut? <laughs> it's a good thing he's not a gangster. We'd all be dead right now. All right. Uh, <laughs> this guy's a dream I never want to wake up from. Or this man is positively perfect. For the chicken ranch heart. <laughs> I'd say this man is positively perfect. Perfect, Phyllis. Boing! Oh. What'd you say, Phyllis? I said this guy's a dream I never want to wake up. Really? So he, he put you into a dream fugue state while he was talking to you on the phone? Yeah. How? His voice was sexy to me. I loved it. Now, how could she think one thing about his voice and you think something completely different? Hi, we're two different people. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mark, yeah. what's the first thing you notice about a woman's body? Legs. Why? Because they got to be like, Bam! <laughs> That's all they gotta do. All right. Well, we asked the ladies what they first noticed about you. Oh, no. And you know what they said? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> One of them said, this man's butt is as juicy as a tenderloin. Yeah. 
Second lady said his arms are so powerful they could punch through steel. Third lady said he's mighty. He's magnificent. He's Muhammad Ali. This man's butt is as tendy, tender as a, well, juicy as a tenderloin or whatever. Whatever. Uh, Phyllis. <laughs> oh. Now, why would he think you thought he had a juicy butt, Phyllis? Because I told him. You said? <laughs> yeah. What'd you say? I said you have a nice butt. What's so nice about it? It's, <laughs> it's nice and firm. Juicy. Like a tenderloin. But you didn't say that. What no, did you say? No, I didn't. I said he's Muhammad Ali. Really? <laughs> yeah. Why? The reason I said Muhammad Ali because he has this look on his face like he's not afraid of anything. That's right. Okay. <laughs> Muhammad was the king. Uh, who said tenderloin? Who was that? I did. Oh, Melanie. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, he has the kind of butt that you can, it'll just look you in the face and it, <laughs> like, <laughs> pow, you know? <laughs> Find out which one of these studs is studlier right after this. All right, Ian, pretty, uh, pretty good looking guy. Women Thank dig you. the way you look? Some of them do. Yeah? Yeah. What, are, what, are, what do you get comments on the most? Usually they talk about my butt <laughs> or. Uh, Basically, my chest, my chest. Your butt or your chest? Yeah. <laughs> the good eaten part, yeah, basically. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I like this. All right, well, we asked the ladies what, uh, what these three ladies thought about your physical appearance, Ian, and here's what they told us. One said, his skin is as smooth as black satin sheets. <laughs> Second lady said, you can show a movie on that big old forehead. <laughs> Oh my God, I'm dating E.T. would be Suzette. No. What'd you say, Suzette? I said you could show a movie on that big old girl. It was one of the two. <laughs> What's up, Suzette? What, what are, what'd you guys do on your day? Did he treat you nice? First, he asked me if I wanted to go to dinner, and when I said I wanted to go to dinner, he cooked. He made, he made us stay home and, and cook dinner, and I didn't want to do that. I would have rather gone. What's wrong? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, he asked me, so that's the only thing I had a problem with. Uh huh. So not 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 very romantic. It doesn't sound like. No. 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 Kind of had we were in a hole at the beginning there, sort of kind. Right. Well, the dinner was kind of romantic. Uh huh. Yeah. See, most women would love to have a guy cook for them at their house. Okay. If you are... Thank you. <laughs> you want me to be honest? Yeah. When I saw her, I said, "I'm not going out to dinner with her." <laughs> Okay, let's, let's move on, shall we? <laughs> Who thought they were dating E.T.? Who was that? I did. Melanie, why? Well, it's not as bad as it sounds. He told me over the phone he had a big head. <laughs> so, I mean, that's what he told me. So I was thinking, oh, God, I am dating E.T. <laughs> let's move on, shall we? Mark, Yeah. what do you do to impress your dates? Anything special? Uh, just like on the mellow side, just like soft music, nice food. OK. And me. OK. Chill. We asked these ladies what was memorable about their dates with you, Mark, and uh, here's what they told us. One lady said, one yank in his ball and my arm almost came out of its socket. <laughs> Second lady said his hips jerked through the air in a spasm of ecstasy. <laughs> and the third lady said, I love a man who can press hot beef between his legs. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. One yank of his ball and my arm almost came out of socket, is Suzette. Right. There you go. Yeah. What'd you do on this date, Suzette? <laughs> we went bowling. Went bowling? Yeah. Is that a good thing to do on a first date? It was fun. With him, it was, because I didn't know how to bowl, bowl and he taught me to bowl. Mm-hmm. And he, like, his arms are really big, and he has a nice body and stuff, so he needed a real big ball. And then... <laughs> <laughs> so, I I had to, so I had to hold his ball while he... <laughs> <laughs> Business. <laughs> uh huh. Fun Why time bowling there, Mark? I uh, hit what, five, four in a row. Yeah, five. yeah, six. It was six strikes in a row. Wow, now that impress you? Yeah, well, yeah. Back to back. <laughs> that is pretty good. Incredible yeah. stamina. Uh, well, his, hips, <laughs> his hips jerked through the air in a spasm of ecstasy, or I love a man who can press hot beef between his legs. <laughs> uh, 
his hips jerk through the air in a spasm of ecstasy is Melanie. I see. There you go. Um, we went out to dinner to this Italian restaurant, and then we went dancing. Mm -hmm. And he's a good dancer. Are you a good dancer? Yes. Do you guys dance well together? We dance quite well together. You know, they say dancing is the language of, of romance. Would you say that's true? I would say that's true. Mm -hmm. Did you guys need an interpreter? No, I think we were doing fine on our own. OK. <laughs> How do you go, uh, how do you make that first romantic move on a date? Like, do you like to do that? Do you let the woman do that? How do you work that? Well, actually, it really depends on the situation. I, I like to do it, but there are situations when I'll like them to do it, too. Which do you like better? I much prefer when they make the move. <laughs> OK. All right, we asked the ladies about the romantic uh, mojo on the dates, and here's what they told us. One said, he was a child, and my body was his petting zoo. <laughs> Don't feed the animals. Second lady said, I wasn't feeling dirty, but he gave me a tongue bath anyway. <laughs> and the third lady said, he sucked up my flesh like a dustbuster of love. I'll say, um, he was a child, and my body was his petting zoo. It'd have to be Phyllis. <laughs> oh! <laughs> What'd you say, Phyllis? I said, yeah, he sucked up my flesh like a dustbuster of love. Really? <laughs> Where'd he do that? Um, we were going to a, a, a disco, and before we got out of the <laughs> car, he went over to me and he grabbed me and he said, okay, I'm gonna give you something to talk about on studs, and he kissed me. <laughs> and, and now she has talked about it on studs. You're a <laughs> prophet. How'd the date end? Um, we went to another nightclub, mm -hmm. and then, well, we danced all night, and then he took me home. And he gave me another kiss. She a good kisser? Just perfect date all the way around. Yeah, she's a great kisser. Mega schmeckin'? And she has a... She has, she's an aerobics in, instructor, and you can tell, definitely, she's got a great bod. Great. Did you Hot. feel the burn? All over. As much, <laughs> as, as much as she would let me, I should say. Who thought... Who, who was the petting zoo? Who was that? That was Suzette. Suzette? Yeah. Really? <laughs> I'm surprised you let him in the front gate. <laughs> All right, so you, did the date get better? Just uh, after we left, like, the comedy thing, the little comedy club or whatever, he told everyone on the comedy thing that we were from Studs, and I kind of, like, squirmed and stuff. He was kind of, like, touchy. Not affectionate kind of touchy, but I just didn't want to be oh. touched. Kinda. Now, now why, why were you ashamed to be identified <laughs> no, with the show in public? I did not say <laughs> Because when you were embarrassed right? in front of 100 <laughs> people at a comedy club, <laughs> look into the camera there. No. <laughs> All right, uh... Mark. Yeah. How do you know when it's time for romance on a date? Just like everything gets quiet. It's just like a total moment of silence, and it's like. How do you know she's not asleep? <laughs> oh, I know they're not asleep. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's uh, just like that. We asked them if there was any of those moments on the dates, okay. Mark, and here's what they told us. One lady said he grabbed me from behind and threw his tongue at me. <laughs> Second lady said his lips were as sweet and moist as melon balls. <laughs> Third lady said he laid me over the bed like an all-you-can-eat buffet. <laughs> he laid me over the bed like an all-you-can-eat buffet is melon. I said it. There you go. <laughs> yeah? Um, we were watching television after our day and laying on the bed. Where? Your house? At his house. Uh -huh. The only, the only we TV's in the bedroom? Uh, yeah, we were watching this video, and then he just laid it on me. <laughs> How long does frenzied feeding continue? Until the moon stopped shining. So, uh, how, how'd the day down? <laughs> um, it ended, I ended up walking her out to her car. Uh -huh. Something happened with my car, so I had to fix it really uh -huh. quick. Okay, good. A lot of schmeckin'? Pretty much. Yeah, sounds like it. <laughs> he grabbed me from behind and threw his tongue at me, or his lips were as sweet and moist as melon balls. Uh, he grabbed me from behind and threw his tongue at me is Phyllis. There you go. <laughs> we were, we were um, getting ready to leave, uh -huh. and he turned toward me, and I kind of fell into his arms, and he threw his tongue at me. <laughs> but it was really... Uh-huh. Good kisser? Yeah, really good kisser. And is she a pretty good kisser? Yeah. So how'd you date with uh, her in? Uh, drove back to her house, walked her to the door, gave her another kiss, and <laughs> got my car. That's it? Pretty romantic? Yeah. 
Mm, no television. No television. No. No, no all-you-can-eat buffet. No all-you-can-eat <laughs> All right, well, it was a sit-down meal. You can't complain about that. When we come back, we're going to find out which one of these guys is most likely to burp. <laughs> Ladies, gave us descriptions of you two. You tell me who said what, okay? okay. We're going to start uh, with you, Ian. Now, this is the lady's opinion of you guys. According to them, who's most likely to help an old lady across the street? You or Mark? I'd say me. He says him. Ladies? Ian. Bobbing. There you go. Why, um, why would you say that, Melanie? Because Ian is a well organized person, and he was helping me. We went on the gondola cruise, and he was helping me onto the boat with you know, being a gentleman, and then he escorted me onto the boat and off of the boat, so I can picture him helping a lady cross the street. That's very nice. <laughs> All right, Mark. Uh, who's most likely to get a pedicure, you or Ian? Ian. <laughs> Ian? Billy D, right here. Billy Ian. D. Ian, ladies. Ian. There you go, the body of 10 guillotine art. Why, Phyllis? Because he's a real groomed guy, and I think that he's really into himself. So. Uh, have you ever had a pedicure? No. Really? Have you? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> oh. So you just take off your shoes and someone Let works on you? go your... at it. Ugh. Ian! <laughs> Do they get to keep whatever they find? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's real nasty. It's really good in cereal. <laughs> Ian! <laughs> Who's most likely to burp at the dinner table? You or Mark? I'd say Mark. Think so? <laughs> he says Mark. Ladies? Mark! There you go! Why would you say that, is that... Because um, when he came over to my house, he had on, like, sweatshirt and jeans and stuff. He was really down to earth, like, just, like, cool, you know? And um, when we went to dinner, he just seemed like the kind that would burp. I think he did burp. <laughs> did, did you let one fly? If I had to, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Better out than in. Sure. <laughs> Mark. Yeah. Who's most likely to have a charge account at Victoria's Secrets, the world's coolest store? I think... Brother Ian would, cause he looked like a freak, so I, I, I think he'd get into that. You know. He says, Ian, ladies? Mom! Oh. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. Why, Melanie? <laughs> because Mark has a sexy, seductive personality. And he told me he likes red lingerie. To see a woman oh, yeah. in red lingerie oh. pants. Gotta Wearing have or having his girlfriend wear them? <laughs> Either or, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Ian! Who's most likely to have an affair with a married woman? You or Mark? Mark. Mark. He says Mark. Ladies? Mark. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Why, Suzette? Because Mark has this really nice body, and if I were a married lady and he came around, I'd still want to, even though I was married. So if you were married, you'd still you'd cheat on your husband with this guy? Uh-huh. For that body? Yeah, just for a minute. <laughs> just for a minute. Okay. Someday this piece of videotape will haunt you, Suzette. <laughs> Mark! Yo. Who's most likely to find creative uses for chocolate syrup? You or Ian? You home wrecker, you? <laughs> Being that I would have an affair with a married woman, <laughs> and I'm into, well, sexy personality, I have to say me. Okay, he says him, ladies. Ian! Oh. <laughs> you chocolate devil. <laughs> why, why would you say that, Phyllis? Because one time he was holding my hand and he said that he would lick me from head to toe. Oh! My God, come on back and we're gonna find out who is the biggest star. Oh! We've got a close one here. Ian's got four hearts. Mark, what do you got? Five? Five, yeah. Five hearts. Anybody can win it. Double or nothing at this point. All you have to do is tell me who you want to go out with again. If she picks you, you go, we pay for it. Since you're trailing, Ian, uh, we'll start with you. Well, I didn't. Pick Suzette. We just didn't click. She's Duh. A very, she's, she's, <laughs> she's very, I'll say this: uh, I think she's a very intelligent sister, and I did have I did have fun on the date. Okay. Some laughs. Melanie is just beautiful, very beautiful sister. But I didn't pick her either. It was just a, a miss of chemistry. But I did pick Phyllis because I think she's beautiful. All right. Now. If if Sister Phyllis picks you, where are you guys going to go? Well, I was thinking we'd go to Cancun mm. and do a little parasailing, a little scuba diving, and um, stay in a lot. That sounds good. <laughs> sounds very good. Mark Anthony. Yeah, what's 
How goes it in Rome? Uh, friends, Roman, countrymen. There you go. Uh, <laughs> go ahead. I didn't pick Suzette, maybe because it was like, the date was just so rushed and put together that, I mean, everything was good and everything, but just everything could have been probably better. Phyllis, I mean, I definitely want to stay friends with both of them. I owe Phyllis a game of bowling because she thinks she can take me, so. Whenever you're ready, you just let me know. But I didn't pick Phyllis. I picked Melanie because everything just, the, from the beginning to the end. Who is that? Is that sister? Friends. Who's the lady jumping up and down in the front row? Who is that? My friends. OK, all right. Well, if Melanie picks you, where are you going to take her? Well, <clears throat> there's a nice little beach up in like in Santa Barbara, go horseback riding by day, try to catch up with the movie by night. Okay, that sounds very exciting. Uh, Suzette, neither of the guys picked you. Do you have fun? Yeah. Swear? Swear to God. Would, would you show us who you picked before you go? Sure. Boing, there you go. <laughs> All right, Ian picked Phyllis, correct? Phyllis, if you picked Ian, you could be off on a fabulous trip to Cancun. What's it gonna be? Oh. <laughs> If you pick Mark, you're off on a fabulous trip to Santa Barbara. If not, these two are going to go to Cancun. What's it going to be? I had a good time with both of them. Good. I'm glad you did. <laughs> Hello. Yeah.